Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Los Angeles Chargers taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every week. We break them down here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, we're going to get right into the action. Coming into this game, you're looking at a lot of fireworks. Uh, Justin Herbert is going to be a problem for the AFC West. These Chargers, once they get him a couple more weapons, it's going to be crazy. I don't know if Tyrod Taylor is going to be playing in this game. If I'm the Chargers, I want Justin Herbert to be playing in this game because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a lot of firepower on their side of the ball. And I think that you're going to need a big arm to keep up in this football game. Um, I did not like that the Chargers threw the football so many times. We're looking, looking at the stat line, 35 of 49 throws he connected on. But 49 throws is a lot. It's just a lot of throwing of the football. Um, the Chargers were not able to run the ball against the Carolina Panthers last week, but it was a rush by committee kind of thing. Austin Eckler uh, was in there. Uh, you have to look at just overall, you know, Josh Kelly. Uh, Justin has to use his legs as well. Um, when you're looking from the standpoint of what the Chargers do well, uh, Hunter Henry is going to be big in this football game because the tight end position, along with Keenan Allen, is going to have to get open so the other players for the Chargers wide receiver can get open. Um, and when you're looking at this grand scheme of things, the offensive line right now is not that healthy for the Chargers. They have to make shift some schematic things and shift. They have to be able to pull a tight end in there and help block because Tampa has a pretty dominant defense. When these guys get rolling downhill, they could become sack machines. If you're looking overall on that side of the ball, I'm asking myself, Devin White, are you up for the challenge? Shaq Barrett, are you up for the challenge? Can you not only confuse the quarterback, can you get to the quarterback? I think that, you know, Justin has to realize that holding on to the football could be a very dangerous thing, and especially against Tampa. Uh, Tampa did a lot of good things against the Denver Broncos well, and I was surprised that it was so easy for them to do it. One thing I didn't like, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are starting to force feed Gronkowski. I don't know if it's by, you know, Brady wanting to do it or Bruce Arians wanting to do it. But, you know, Gronk is going to have to just get himself open. They forced a lot of throws to Gronk and it was dangerous because a couple of those passes could have been intercepted by Denver. If they were just, uh, you know, in better position to make catches. Um, when you're looking just down the field, Mike Evans, he had an amazing stat line last week against uh, <laughs> the Denver Broncos. Two catches, two touchdowns, two yards. That was that's something that caught my attention. Um, but for the most part, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are locked and loaded. With Tom Brady in the saddle, they are trying to make some noise. With the Saints losing two games, they're now picking up steam, and they want to put as many games as between them as they can for their next matchup so they can definitely win out and win the NFC South. You're looking overall, the Chargers, I give them a good chance to win this football game, but I think the experience and what you have as far as a championship roster is going to take the difference. Um, I want to see more OJ Howard. I want to see more Gronk in these games. I want to see more of these guys, not only just blocking, you know, but getting open, setting the table for Tom Brady to go deep. When your tight ends are catching passes under the middle, that lets you and allows you to have your wide receivers be able to break the uh, break the patterns deeper and be able to get deep for those bombs. That I know Tom Brady wants to throw a couple of bombs and get his wide receivers and reward them for that. I'm picking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win this football game, but Justin Herbert is coming. Beware, Chargers fans. This guy is special. He's locked and loaded. He has a cannon for an arm. And I think you guys got to watch out for the next years to come. I know Keenan Allen is, Keenan Allen is happy because he's got somebody that's going to fill up his stat sheet. But it's going to be a pretty good game, folks. Are you uh, Chargers fans? Are you Buccaneers fans? Get in the comment section. Tell me your prediction down below. And thank you, as always, for checking us out. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and support your guy. Thank you so very much and have a great one, everybody.